some Laura Vitale and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen I want to show you how to make the easiest lemon cream puffs ever. If you follow me on social media on Instagram that you will have seen a few weeks ago, I share so much of my stories. Number one, my cute baby. Number two, a lot of the things that I cook on a daily basis or whatever, I just like to share it with you. And I made lemon cream puffs because it was my stepmom's birthday and they are her favorite thing ever. So I made them for her shared a photo and everybody went crazy for the recipe so i'm gonna make it for you today because they're so easy and simple perfect for a summer crowd because you can make them the day before pop them in the fridge and they taste even better if you've given them 24 hours to set so let's get to it the ingredients that you're going to need to make the actual shell uh simple you have some flour and have a little salt in there water unsalted butter eggs that's all you need to make the shell and then i'll show you the easiest lemon filling ever because it requires just two ingredients and it's Perfecto. I've been preheated to 425, baking sheet lined with some parchment paper, and we are gonna go and get started really fast. In my saucepan, I'm going to add my water and some butter, and I'm going to just let these cook and come to a boil and the butter melt completely over about medium heat. Mixture is boiling. I'm going to turn this off and add the flour and salt. And I'm going to mix, watch what happens when you just stir, 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 really quick for like 30 seconds. You'll think it'll never come together, but it will. And you want this to form, it'll form like a, a ball almost. And I no longer want to see any raw flour. It'll take about 30 seconds or so, see? And then I'll transfer it to my bowl. But I'm just going to keep mixing it until I literally no longer see any raw flour if I kind of break it up with my spoon like that. Now, this is the stage where you add your eggs, except if you, were to add, if you were to add your eggs to this, you could have a risk of scrambling your egg because this is so hot. So take a handheld or if a standing mixer, if you're doing this in a standing mixer, and just mix it for like 30 seconds. It will allow a lot of that hot steam to escape and it'll come to just the right temperature for you to start adding the eggs. Now we're gonna add the eggs, two eggs, one at a time. And then you're gonna mix it until it's incorporated, then you add your next one and do the same thing until you're all done. And that is what it will look like. Now, I you can you can make a double batch of this easily, just double each ingredient and it will feed a humongous crowd. But here's the problem. I don't have very many people coming over this weekend. Therefore, it'd be in the fridge and I would pick at them until they were gone. So I'm making a smaller batch just to have some mercy on myself, but you can double this batch. It, I'm telling you, it'll feed so many people so happily. And then you just take a small ice cream scoop. Um, this is the equivalent of, a, I would say about a teaspoon and a half. Um, you don't wanna make them too big because they will puff up in the oven. And I think that when cream puffs or profiteroles are just too big, uh, they lose a little bit of their appeal to me. Uh, so I think a small one works perfectly fine. You don't have to use this. You can use a piping bag or two spoons, but look at that. I mean, I'm just not gonna mess with perfection. I am not gonna mess with the fact that if I do this with an ice cream scoop, I know that they will all be the exact same size and that's exactly what I want. I don't wanna have to worry about measuring. I don't wanna have to worry about making some too big or too small because that will, they will bake uh, differently if they're a different size. So just keep piping them out or scooping them out. And then I'm gonna pop them into a hot oven at 425 for 20 minutes. When they come out, and this is an important thing for you to remember, cause I'm not gonna be able to show you as soon as they come out. When they come out, you must pierce the side of them, each one with a sharp paring knife so that all the air can escape. And you wanna let them cool completely before you fill them. So get them on here in the oven, cook, pierce, done. My cream puffs baked and they look gorgeous. Remember it was 20 minutes at 425 and the second they came out, just pierced them with a sharp knife to let them cool completely and for the steam to escape. Now the filling is really easy and really simple. Lemon curd, you can use homemade or store bought. In fact, I'm going to show you probably next week or the week after how to make a really fast and easy lemon curd in your microwave that will change the way you live <laughs> when it comes to lemon curd because it's so foolproof and it is fantastic. But any lemon curd will do. 
some whipped cream or whipped topping. Whipped topping tends to hold a little bit better. It's almost gonna turn into like a mousse-like consistency, which is what you want. And then you need a little bit of lemon just to kind of amp up that fresh lemon tartness that I love. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna zest a little bit of lemon zest into the lemon curd. Like I said, the lemon curd is homemade, but you can use any that you like. And now I'm just gonna add a squeeze of lemon juice, again, just to drive home that tart, fresh lemon flavor because um, lemon curd is sweet. Let me get the pit out. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix these together and then fold in my whipped topping. Once you have it all in, I just place it in a large resealable bag with either a star or a round tip, it doesn't really matter. And then I just go in wherever I put the slit when it first came out, I just go in there Give it a little squeeze. Don't overfill them because they will explode and that's never a good look. So I'm just gonna keep filling them up. So once your cream is done, I place it in a large resealable bag and then I have it fitted with a tip. It could be a star tip, round tip, whatever floats your boat. Just wanted to make it nice and easy on yourself. And then I just look for wherever I made the slit, which you see is right there and I just kind of make my way in and pipe in some cream. Don't overfill, because I don't like when they're so overfilled that the, the, the custard kind of spills out of them. I'm not a fan of that. So just, and don't squeeze it too fast because it'll squeeze out the sides of the bag or your piping bag. So just take your time and fill them up. Once they're all filled, a little bit of powdered sugar, and how? Fabulous do those look. I'm just saying, I am not saying, but I am just saying that these look phenomenal. I'm gonna go in for this guy. That is an absolute, beyond a doubt, lovely little delight. It's lemony. It's not overly sweet. One more, just because I'm gonna be safe. Spot on, really. Perfect. Go to lauraintheekitchen.com, get the recipe, making this weekend. I'll save this one for you. I hope you enjoy spending time with me, and I'll see you next time. Come on. <laughs>